Jake's in it up to his eyebrows when Max thinks the pregnancy test is Lauren's and storms over to confront him. Trouble is, Sadie hears the exchange. Lauren's furious with Max but more worried about what she's done to Bella, so she goes to try and sort it out, only to find Jake contemplating the bottle. A manic Jake gets into his car and Lauren is forced to follow, but as they drive off, Jake loses control of the car and hits a buggy that Cat's pushing. The Carters are short of cash for the Vic redecoration, but Mick refuses to ask his dad to help out because of his long-running feud with Shirley. They are annoyed that Nancy is still seeing Wayne, but Mick hits on a plan to end that once and for all. Will Nancy finally see that her bloke is a wrong'un? Sharon's delighted when she gets a chance to rub Shirley's nose in it by revealing plans to open a wine bar. Shirley chucks her out and tells Mick they'll go and see their dad. Carol is back at the cafe pretending things are okay, but when Terry and David ruin her quiet night at the Vic, she shuts them up with her test results. Next we visit the street. Haley decides the time is now and asks to see her nearest and dearest. Unwilling to die a painful death, she refuses to reconsider the plan and takes the lethal cocktail. Royzen floods as he squeezes his wife's lifeless hand, while Carla and Anna soon work out what's happened. But where does he go from here? He tries to keep busy and crazily reopens the cafe, while Carla and Anna try to talk to him about the funeral. He's overwhelmed with anger, anger at Haley for taking her life and at himself for letting her, despite Anna reassuring him he did the right thing. Elsewhere, Nick spoils Leanne, but is hurt when she pulls away as he tries to kiss her. Instead, he plunges into training, but overdoes it and cuts himself. When Leanne fusses over him, he loses his rag. He tells her they have to face facts. He's not the man she married, and they need to split up. Finally, we're in the Dales. Charity's nervous when Sam and Debbie start to suspect Declan set up Rachel to get his insurance money. But on the day Rachel's due in court, Jay is beside himself when she fails the show. He hires a detective to find her, but is alarmed to learn he's not named on Archie's birth certificate. Jay breaks into Ali's to search for clues, and in a showdown tells her she's sacked and he's evicting her, while Rishi thinks he should keep her close. Megan refuses to believe Ali when she claims that Declan set up Rachel, and she tells Deck. Is it coincidence that Dan is then beaten up by thugs while waiting for Ali? When Ian shows up again, Val confesses her holiday romance to Pollard, but will she really tell him the full extent of the problem? And Layla continues to cause friction for David and Alicia, but after they ask her to leave, who's going to break it to Jacob? <laughs>